No, I don't waste no time Hi there guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. And in this video, I wanna talk about the lifetime value of a client and how you can increase client retention. So this question was asked to me by someone in one of our Facebook groups. I think it was the ANC Scale and Fast Track community, um, completely free Facebook group uh, where you can basically you know, network. Uh, surround yourself with like-minded people and there's also a free ebook and a free beginner course so if that sounds something that you're interested in then feel free to check it out it will be linked in the description box down below but anyway uh, one of the questions that i got was how you can increase the client retention and that basically made me think of how the agency is now structured right and how i have basically pivoted over time because back when I was starting out, this was like this was like late 2017. It actually started in 2000. I, I got the idea in 2016. Started in 2017. Missed about a bit, and then it was uh, the beginning of 2018, if I'm not mistaken, when I actually started to get my first few clients. And um, basically, around the start of 2018, I cracked the code, if you will. Uh, I signed 14 clients in three weeks with my business partner back then, which was Bradley Riley. Um, basically, we found this structure where we could leverage freelancer websites like upwork.com, uh, freelancer.com, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, we could leverage that. He had a structure in place. His profile on these freelance websites was set up in such a way that it got a lot of uh, responses, etc. So we just went absolutely crazy with it for three weeks. We just went on every single call that we could potentially, you know, you know, get. Uh, we signed as many clients as we could possibly get. Ended up getting, like I said, fourteen clients. And even though back then our average retainer, because we were basically offering anything that we could offer, social media management, posting on socials, blog posts, you name it, you know, it doesn't matter what it was, we just wanted to get our name out there, we wanted to start making money, so we just offered whatever we could at whatever price point we could offer it at. And I think back then the average price point was like $600 a month, something like that, either social media management, um, I think we also started slowly offering Facebook ads as well, um, but like I said, it was quite messy. Like the structure in terms of outreach was good, but the fulfillment was very, very messy. And um, like I said, we did actually manage to get 14 clients in under three weeks uh, with an average retainer of $600 a month. You know, you work it out, that's $8,400. Um, so I went from working at my local gym, like literally, you know, cleaning the floors at my local gym, doing personal training sessions, etc. Um, for well, basically minimum wage, you know, as a part-time job, to making an eight thousand four hundred in a month, you know, I was ecstatic. I announced that I was officially a six-figure uh, business owner, and so on and so forth. At least, you know, so I thought, um, because obviously, you know, eight thousand three hundred and thirty-three times twelve is a hundred thousand a year. So that's basically how I worked it out. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I've just made eight thousand four hundred sky is the limit we're going to do the exact same again next month and you know that is how we're going to get to a hundred thousand a year and what i quickly learned was that uh, when i was not getting these clients results these clients would immediately leave right like it's it's all business right there's no loyalty whatsoever if you cannot get your clients results they're going to leave you no matter how friendly you are no matter how good the communication is no matter um like i said how much you promise them if you don't deliver on what you say or if you don't deliver on your service, they're going to leave you. Like I said, it's strictly business. So right after the first month of signing so many clients, all those clients left, or at least the majority of them. And I was right back down to basically the equivalent of what I was in and when I was working at my local gym. So all of a sudden I've gone from working you know, for a relatively minimum wage to 8,400 a month to go right back down. And then I thought to myself, okay, I can't get the results for these clients. I don't know how to get the results for these clients. I don't know how to calculate the ROI for these clients with Facebook ads. So let me just find someone who can. 
And like I said, the outreach method back then was upwork.com, freelancer.com, etc. So I thought, okay, let me just go back onto those platforms. But then rather than me, you know, offer my services as a freelancer, actually, you know, put up a job post and find them freelancers. And basically what I tried to do was try to get um, as much as possible from the client and then outsource it for as cheap as possible. So, you know, make sure that that margin in between was as good as it, you know, could possibly be. However, that just made things worse. So we went from getting the client in, trying to do it ourselves and losing the client, to getting the client in, outsourcing it, not getting the results and then losing the client. So the retention of the client stayed the same. Um, you know, the profit margin was smaller and we were right back down to square one because these results that these, these freelancers were getting, they were just, just, just as bad as ours. You know, even they did not know what we were doing and that wasn't their fault but we just didn't know who to hire. So we would get freelancers giving us job, like portfolios and results, etc. And I wouldn't know, you know if that was a good result or not. I didn't know what made a good media buyer. I did not know what was, like I said, what was profitable. I did not know what the profit margin for that particular client was of the portfolio results that they were showing. Like they would show me like a 1.5 ROAS. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, 1.5, that's more than one. That means they're making profits. That means for every dollar they're spending, they're getting, you know, a dollar fifty back. So they must be making money. But not understanding that, you know, there's, there's, there's cost of goods delivered, there's, you know, profit margins, there's shipping and so on and so forth. There's so much more that goes into play to it. Um, you know, so a result like that looks, you know, it looked good to me back then, but obviously, you know, in hindsight, those were not very good results. So, um, like I said, after a very tiresome first year, I decided to pivot. And I basically went from short-term cash grabbing agency hamster wheel, if you will, to a, a long-term media buying powerhouse. So what we now actually do is we focus on actually getting the client's results. And I understand that that might not be as 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 you know as glamorous as you guys you know want or as uh, how you picture the agency. You know we see all these these gurus on social media showing the retainers, showing how much money they've earned, etc. And then here's me saying, no, I'm not bragging about how many clients I'm signing, I'm bragging about how I'm getting my client results. I understand that's probably not as interesting or as glamorous uh, to you guys, but what you need to understand here is it's a long-term mindset, it's a long-term approach. If you get your client's results, those clients are gonna stay. If you make your clients more money, the client's gonna keep paying you. So what happens then? That one time retainer, that one month, turns into two months, turns into three months, and when you know, you're used to a client leaving you after one month and having to go back into the trenches in month two to find another client, you no longer have that. So what happens is the clients that you get in, they don't leave. So that back door is shut. So you get an input, but there's no output. There's, there's, no, there's no people leaving. There's no people getting angry. There's no negative results. And then over time, you will actually build up a much more sustainable advertising business. The clients are getting better results, which means that you have more portfolio material which means that you can also charge more on future clients. You'll get a better type of client because, you know, obviously with better results, you can acquire or you can get better clients, you know, with more money, higher ad spends that, you know, are already up and running. And by doing that, you'll notice that it'll be easy to get results again. Then once you know exactly what needs to be done to get those clients results, you can make standard operating procedures. And that is when you can start looking into either outsourcing it or either streamlining it in such a way that it doesn't cost you as much time, as much effort and as much stress as previously. So by actually focusing on the clients, I was able to make more money, have a much more stress-free agency and just run a much more streamlined advertising business. And um, I put up a very similar post to you know the story that I'm now telling you guys in the Facebook group. And uh, what I mentioned there as well is that this whole infrastructure, so the whole results first approach that I'm now talking about and that we've implemented in our agency is something that we also teach in Consultex. So the whole infrastructure, how we get results, the SOPs, the framework, etc. We give that basically as a uh, you know a done for you infrastructure. So if you were to join the coaching program, you get the infrastructure in like, like I said a done for you service, and then we also offer done with you support. So we offer group coaching to show you how we can leverage those processes, how we can leverage the systems that we've just given you, how you can actually get results for your clients, for your niche, 
you know, regardless of the ad spend or the retainer, make sure that you can get your clients a return on investment. And then therefore you keep the clients, you consistently get more money from those existing clients and you will able to, you'll, you'll be able to acquire better and more consistent and higher ticket clients in future. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you want a proven roadmap to sell your online advertising services, scale your advertising business to six and seven figures, then I will leave a comment or not, I'll leave a link in the comments down below where you can schedule a no strings attached, no pressure, just a consultation call with us to see if you're a right fit for the program. Cause you know, obviously we, I definitely truly genuinely take pride in what I do. And I only want to take on um, basically, you know, coaching clients, if you will, uh, that are genuine about wanting to get results for their clients because, you know, obviously my reputation is on the line. If I take you guys on, you don't actually get results for your clients. You don't actually get your agency up and running. Then obviously that looks bad on me. So um, basically you'll see if you're right fit for the program, if the program is right fit for you, if you are, we can offer you a spot. And uh, like I said, you can start implementing the infrastructure that we've implemented for our own agency as well and uh, truly start scaling your agency the right way without being in the trenches consistently trying to find clients on uh, freelancer websites like Upwork and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's all I've got for today. Hope you got some out of this. Um, if anything, just look at your client's results right now and think to yourself, how can I improve them so that the client will stay for longer? And you'll notice that just by that small little tweak in mindset, you will go, um, that'll basically go a very long way. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.